Skoda. Simply clever. Very warm good afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. On behalf of Skoda Auto India, I'd like to welcome you to the launch of the Rapid. Uh, I'd now like to welcome Chairman and Managing Director of Skoda Auto India to say a few words, Mr. Sudhir Rao. Thank you. Thank you all, and uh, uh, good afternoon to you all. Thank you all for uh, being with us uh, today. Uh, I apologize for the delay. Uh, Partly miscommunication, partly delay in flights. So between the combination of the two, uh, I've landed up here half an hour later. I really, really apologize for that. Um, just to uh, tell you a little bit about where Shkora is today and what our plans are, we're going through a very important phase uh, of our journey in India uh, currently. In this year and the last 12 months uh, have been very, very important for us. We started. Uh, with the Octavia about a year ago, a brand new, all new platform Octavia. Then we launched the new Superb in uh, February of this year. Then about a month ago, uh, we did our unique uh, SUV, the Skoda Yeti. Uh, and today, we are doing a significant technology enhancement about which uh, Denver will, will tell you more. So we are basically virtually either changed or significantly refreshed our product line in the last 12 months. Along with this, we're also taking other measures internally in the company to overall offer a better package to the customers. We've always been known for wonderful products, and we will constantly make those even better. And at the same time, we are also improving our overall ownership experience. We've made significant progress in various parameters that influence a customer after the initial purchase. And virtually every parameter we measure of internal performance on after sales and service has improved by a number of 30 to 50 percent in the last 18 months. So it's a very important phase of the journey as we evolve into a new kind of Skoda. On the product side, our future evolution is going to be along the following lines. We will maintain this product portfolio of four cars, SUVs, and continuously enhance them. One of the key things that we are doing right now is also working on specifically the rapid. We are working on a facelift of the vehicle that is to be done along with very Indian orientation with a local engineering and development services provider. This is an effort that we are taking in order to be able to develop more products in the future. Because if we can reduce our en engineering and investment numbers that we do up front, and also achieve lower material costs, but at the same time not compromise anything on what we think is an outstanding Skoda brand character in its product, then we would have found the right sweet spot for at least the rapid segment of the, of the, of the industry. We believe the rapid and the associated hatchback segment of, the, of that will continue to remain kind of the center of gravity of the automotive industry, at least, say, for the next seven years or so. So for us, it's an important segment. And that's why we are taking steps to be able to do our development processes in a manner that is more Indian in nature, more Asian in nature, but yet at the same time not give up anything that is the fundamental Skoda Czech brand character. When we go past this journey on the product side, we hope to also take those learnings to segments below the rapid. But at this point in time, to be honest, that is the next step and the next step. So that's to give you a little bit of perspective as to where Skoda is going on the product side, what we are doing on the ownership experience side. And then 
overall, what we're doing as a business is ensuring that we operate the business at a level that is financially sustainable over the long run. We want to be in India and grow with the economic prosperity in the country. And to do that, we know that we have to operate the business on a manner that is sustainable and not oriented. So this is the basic character of the company uh, as it is today. Um, the focus beyond what I've just explained to you is really today on the rapid and the technology that, that it, that it uh, is enhancing actually today, um, of which I'll ask uh, my colleague Denver uh, to tell you more. We'll be back on the stage later to tell you about the pricing and so forth, but Denver will talk about the product itself for now. Thank you, Mr. Rao. Before we finally unveil the price, um, I will just share with you a few developments and updates uh, what we have in the rapid segment. To begin with, uh, what we will go through now is uh, we will touch upon a little bit about the design on the current rapid and the new design that we will try and introduce. We will also talk about the new features that, uh, th that you will see in some of these cars over here, the color concept and the offering. Uh, and the big story for us is the powertrain and the new gearbox. So we'll spend a little time on that. Uh, technical data, and I will summarize it in terms of the top 10 equipment uh, on the Rapid. To begin with, uh, uh, the Rapid will retain its current design. Uh, the current design is extremely robust. Uh, however, we've added a more sportier exterior design on the Rapid in the, in the form of what we call a black package. I will get into the details of what the black package is in a little later. But like Mr. Rao said, the, uh, the Rapid will be the cornerstone for Skoda's uh, future strategy, and the experimentation will happen on the Rapid. So what you see today in the form of a black package will be the first signs of what we are doing with the Rapid. And the introduction of the DSG is also in that context. In terms of uh, the new Rapid, some of the key features that you will see, the, the first big change is in terms of uh, the alloy wheels. Uh, on the Elegance model, we will, we will introduce a completely new design. There will be 15-inch alloy wheels. And on the, uh, on the Active and the Ambition, which is our entry level and our middle level uh, variant, we will now have 15-inch wheels instead of 14-inch. So this is one of the few changes. Uh, we've also introduced parking sensors as standard OEM equipment in some of the variants uh, of the Rapid. Earlier, they were uh, fitted on as accessories. Now you will get them as a standard OEM. Uh, as a brand philosophy goes, which is simply clever, we've also introduced an app uh, which each one of you can download. It's called the Skoda Remote. What that app now enables you to do is control the entire stereo system from whichever part of the car, uh, either at the back seat. So instead of giving you an additional remote to keep in the car, you can download the app the entire infotainment system. And that goes along with our philosophy of being simply clever. Uh, for the first time in the Rapid segment, or in, in our Rapid model range, we will now introduce the cruise control. Uh, like most of you know, uh, cruise control is a convenient feature which uh, you know, usually you get in cars. So this is the first time Skoda will introduce this in uh, the Rapid segment. Uh, another small but convenient feature is what we call the card holder. A lot of us uh, today use credit cards or hotel room keys, driving license. They're all magnetic cards. We've provided a small... Uh, knob just below the infotainment system where you can actually plug in. It's a small feature, but it's still a very thoughtful feature which goes in line with our brands. Uh, moving on to the black package, this is uh, what you will see today. Uh, the car on my right is actually the black package. So what we will offer for a most, uh, the, uh, for a most sportier experience for customers is the black package. So the black package, will, like you see, will get completely new alloys. Uh, it's not only black in color, but it's a completely uh, different design in terms of being multi-spoke. Uh, you will also get black headlights along with black fog lights. And lastly, the chrome, uh, the chrome around the bumper will be black. Uh, this has been taken purely on customer uh, insight and customer demands. The Rapid has always been one of the best handling uh, cars in the segment, and uh, customers always wanted a more sportier appearance. This is what we've done. What you also see in the picture is a black roof and a black side foil. However, that will be fit fitted as an accessory 
at dealers, and that will not be standard OEM. So if customers want to have complete uh, black package without a black roof, they can do so. If they want the black roof, all they have to go to is uh, dealers and opt for it. So that completes uh, the black package. Uh, in terms of overall features, there's a list of features we have, uh, right from remote control do door opening to ABS to Chrome, etc. But over and above the existing features in the current Rapid, what we've actually added is the card holder. We've added cruise control. We've added parking sensors. We've added new alloys. And we've added an entire uh, black package for, for the sportier experience. Uh, the offer structure, so the column on the right, what you see, is completely new. Uh, we never had uh, a, an automatic in the diesel segment. So the entry-level petrol still remains the same, and the petrol versions remain the same. As far as the diesel uh, variants are concerned, we have a completely new engine, and for the first time, we will introduce a new gearbox, which is an automatic seven-speed. As far as colors go, we will retain the five existing colors available on the Rapid and we will offer a new color which is called a toffee brown. However, that will come one month after the launch in the month of October during the festive season. Uh, this for us is the big story. Uh, with a completely new engine, uh, this will be a 1.5 TDI diesel engine. Uh, while reducing the overall cubic capacity of the engine from 1.6 to 1.5, we have not compromised on power or efficiency. What we've essentially done as a brand, we've improved the efficiency of the engine. So this will still remain the most talkiest engine in the segment, with peak torque coming between 1,500 to 2,500, and the maximum power of 105 bhp between 3,500 to 4,500 rpm. Uh, what we've essentially done with the engine is, like I said earlier, we've improved the efficiency, not only in performance, but also in terms of fuel economy. So in terms of fuel economy, we've uh, increased uh, the fuel efficiency in the manual by about 3%, and on the, on the automatic DSG point by 5%. So for us, this is the big story in terms of the rapid. Uh, like, uh, if you see the two circles marked in red, uh, that's the fuel efficiency on a rapid. So with a 55-liter tank and about 21.4 in a manual transmission and 21.66 in in the automatic transmission, you can actually do over 1,000 kilometers on a, on a single uh, fuel tank. And for the first time, we will introduce the seven-speed dual-clutch DSG mated to this transmission. So that essentially is the big story for today. In terms, uh, we will become the most affordable DSG in the Indian market in a diesel car. Uh, I will quickly try and summarize uh, what the, uh, for, in what makes the Rapid unique in its segment. Uh, the Rapid will come with driver and passenger airbags. It will come with ABS. Uh, these are some of the key safety features that will, be, uh, that will make the uh, Rapid uh, on par or above uh, its competition. Uh, the two-din uh, audio player and the infotainment is now unique, with, which can be controlled with an app. Uh, we are, it, it's also Bluetooth enabled, which, will then, uh, which you can control with the steering and you can pair your phone and, and use it as a multifunction. Uh, the height and steering, uh, the, the height and length adjustable steering uh, just allows you with different positions in terms of driving, because the Rapid has always been a driver's car, so that permits you different positions. Uh, the electrically adjustable mirrors are something new. You can now fold the mirrors internally with the touch of a button, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is what really sets the Rapid apart from, from competition. Uh, I would now like to call upon Sudhir Rao uh, once again to, co uh, to come and unveil the price before we actually show the cars. The mic. You, can take, you can take the mic. So uh, the, the entry level pricing for, for the new Rapid will be at 7.2 lakhs. And uh, the entire offer structure in terms of the model range will actually, uh, this is what it will look like. So the column on the right will be uh, the elegance, the diesel with the DSG. So. so you can see that basically, so this, this is basically our, our pricing strategy. 
and essentially other than the, to the top end version, you know, all the other variants are below the 10 lakh barrier. Yeah. So if you have any questions, we can take questions right now before we finally unwheel the cars. Does anyone have any questions? I think someone. Okay. Uh, I'd like to call upon two of my other colleagues, Mr. Jay Basin, uh, sales head, North and West, and Mr. Rajesh Shinde, after sales, also to unveil the cars. So, Sunil, you take that. Yeah. No, no. You. They will pull this. You pull it along. Okay. You you want Mr. Rao? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the car. Ajay, can we get one with Mr. Rao alone? Just in case. Uh, we will take more pictures after the Q&A. If you can just finish the Q&A and then we can get on to more pictures, if you don't mind. Open it. One second. Sudhir, the uh, Sudhir, the doors can be open now. Yeah. Can we just do the Q&A for five minutes before we actually take more pictures uh, with Mr. Rao?
uh, if anyone has any questions uh, you will come uh, any questions from the audience If you have no questions, then we can proceed either with the photo opportunities or, uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you being here with us, yeah? We'll have to do your, your bye.